Okay, so for our fifth figure, we will be using a combination of your 45 degree triangle and your 30 by 60 degree triangle. So our reference points here will be located along our main horizontal line. So the short distances measures 0.5 cm, while the wider distances measures again 1.2 cm. So here in your box, you will locate once again the center point using uh, the method dividing the horizontal line and your vertical line. So I already have here my center point. So from this point, I will measure the center na ko ang 0.5 cm. I will just put points. Point. And from these two points, we will measure 1.2 for the wider distances and 0.5 for their spacing. Another 1.2 here. And 0.5 here is the spacing. And last, another 1.2 here. We'll also do that on the opposite side. From this point, we'll measure 1.2, 0.5, 1.2, 0.5. And 1.2. So from these reference points, we will now draw our 75 degree angle line. So how do we achieve that? We will just combine this 45 degree angle and 30 by 60 and triangle. And then we will go to our reference points. This is our first reference point. We will draw the line. It's our guideline. Another line here. So, okay lang nga siya nga dili ninyo ilahus gud sa inyong box. Later on na, pag mag-finalize na mo or mag-darken na mo sa inyong figure. So, very important here ang use sa inyong hang triangle and your set squares. You will do that on the opposite side also. So, as you can see, these reference points are the important points na kinahanglan ninyo as to where you will draw your lines. So, for the opposite side, we will just turn this set squares on the opposite direction. On the opposite direction. And we will draw the lines from our reference points. Diba? How easy it is. Basta na alay this square. For those Nga walay, wala pa yung T-square and triangles. You can do this by using your protractors. And we'll do this on the opposite side. Okay. So we will now darken our lines according to what the image is showing us. So this right here is our box number 5.